Hey, welcome to Quilty. I'm your host, Mary Fons. Quilty is a program for those of you out there who want to make an updated, fresh, modern quilt, but don't know the first thing about quilt making. Fundamentals, that's what we're all about here at Quilty. And today on the program, Fabric 101, we have a very special guest. I'll keep it a surprise for just a second. We're gonna talk about fabric and why cotton broadcloth, like this, is the best thing to use when you're gonna make a quilt. By the end of this segment, you will know why cotton broadcloth is used in quilt making, and also how to tell the difference between other weights of fabric, and why you don't maybe wanna use those in your quilt the first time out. Okay, so let's get started. So this, everyone watching at home, is my sister Rebecca. Hi. The third Fonz. There's three us, three of us girls. I'm the youngest. Save the best for last. That's right. Well, before we get started today on what we're going to talk about, uh, Fabric 101, tell the nice people a little bit about yourself. Sure, sure. Uh, so I've lived in Chicago about five years. Mm -hmm. I work for the Chicago International Film Festival. I'm a young professional, which is weird to say as being the youngest daughter. Nice. Uh, and uh, I'm a roller derby referee for the Windy City mm -hmm. Rollers. She's awesome. Um, so I'm pretty busy. Um, I'm a little crafty. I'm a, a, probably an advanced beginner in pottery. I just like, started like taking... Like junior varsity? You're like JV I'm like Potter? JV. I'm like B team. B, B team. team. Yeah. Um, uh, JV Potter, I uh, started taking classes about a year ago, wheel throwing. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Mm -hmm. Made some great bowls and mugs. You know, mm -hmm. it was really exciting. She's really good. Thank you. You're good um, at whatever you do. Well, oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I, you know, I don't have a kiln in my apartment. I don't have a wheel in my yeah. apartment, nor do I have a way to make clay in my apartment. Right. So a new craft or a new hobby mm -hmm. or a new um, side project mm -hmm. is great and it's something that I'm kind of looking forward to, to doing. I wanted to have you on not only because you're a really new beginning quilter, I mean you're really a rookie, you don't know, Brand a, new. Don't know a lot about it just from what you picked up hanging around the house, uh, but I also wanted to have you on because you're my sister oh, yeah, and I love absolutely. you. Okay, so we're going to talk about fabric. Um, why don't you grab that piece of fabric sure. that's right there. What is more fundamental to a quilt than the fabric? That's why we wanted to talk about this today because I see a lot of beginning quilters, they have this idea and it always comes up. They're like, I want to make a quilt out of my, my grandma's clothes. Or my like t-shirts from high school. T-shirts from high school, mm -hmm. right. And you can make t-shirt quilts. And that's actually a pretty it's sure. a fun and easy project to do. And we'll talk about that one day on Quilty. But um, this idea that you can take like kind of any old fabric that you've got hanging around the house, cut it into pieces and sew it together is actually, it's a really hard thing to do. When you make a quilt, when you make a patchwork quilt, and especially when you're beginning, you want to make it out of all the same kind of fabric. And the kind of fabric we use when we're making a patchwork quilt is cotton broadcloth, just like this. Cotton broadcloth is uh, used in quilt making for a couple different really good reasons. Okay, why don't you give this fabric a tug? This is like cotton. A like re a real tug. Yeah, give it a, give it a good right, tug. Give it a whirl. All right. What do you notice? Uh, it's it's it got a good pull. Yep. It's got it's tough. really strong. It's really tough. It's yeah. really yeah, tough. it feels really tough. The the way this cotton broadcloth is woven, it's got a warp and a weft. Those are two fancy terms oh. for the different thread directions. And uh, cotton broadcloth is woven in such a way that it's really strong. It can take a needle because when you're quilting, your a needle is going in and out mm -hmm. of these little pieces sure. all, a lot, and it's strong enough to withstand that. But it's not so heavy like a denim right. or like you know a home deck fabric. So it's really good for if you're making a quilt. It's a really light fabric, but a tough fabric. Exactly. It's a it's a tough broad. Broadcloth. Yeah. I should be in marketing for quilting. It's pretty good. Tough broad. That's actually really hilarious. Yeah, this is why good. I have you on the show. Thanks. Tough broad. Hilarious. Okay, so so this is this is why we use uh, this kind of fabric. Um, it's also beautifully printed. I mean, there's a, a thousand bazillion printed cloths that you can use even more now. Cool, cool fabrics to make your yeah. quilt out of. Well, what's so great about quilting is I, I feel like that excitement of like choosing your fabrics. Like I, I remember when you were starting to make your first quilts, you're like, oh, I get to choose the fabrics, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit like shopping, which. We it's love exact, to do so. It's exactly like it's really fun to kind of pick up all those things that you want to you want to try and like being inspired by those fabrics is really exciting. I mean, and with all the fabrics out there today, there's no need to like pick up random clothes right. that you have and cut them into bits to make a quilt because the, the fabrics out there you're going to want to use. Sure. But you know, so even though people watching can't feel the fabrics that we're going to talk right, about, I right. want to go through some other kinds of fabric just so you can see the difference. I don't even know what this is. This is like a home deck fabric. This is a really cool fabric. It's like a chair, it's almost. It's almost chair like covering. a chair covering. It's really thick. It's um, it's kind of you know, it's it's dense. It's you a would little... not want to have a shirt or a quilt made out of this fabric. It's too heavy. It would be like, thanks for the quilt. I can't breathe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it feels almost like canvas. Exactly. So, no, not no. for a quilt. Okay. Cool okay. for another project, not All for right. a quilt. How What's about this red one? This one is like my senior prom. Exactly, senior prom. You know, if it if it looks like it's shiny. 
and it really it's got really like elasticity to it oh, yeah and it's that's, like this pull it just yeah it's so it's so light it disintegrates right. that's not going to be good and especially if you were cutting up all these different things imagine sewing something like this to something like this right. it does not play well together yeah. you can't make these there's such different weights that's not going to be easy you can this one can't support that one there's no just no way okay next this one which i love it's linen it's fantastic it's it would make a great shirt mm -hmm. it would make a cool uh suit a great pair of pants but linen is woven in a different way it is cotton but it is just not what you want to make okay. a quilt and you can tell linen because you can kind of see through it I don't know if you can see me, but like it's sort of like I can sheer. See and yeah, it's it's just right. like too it's too thin. It's not right for a quilt. Okay. This is also really nice. This would make a great scarf. I think that's another good rule this of thumb. This like, is a scarf. Let me try that. If you could wear it as a great, like, cool scarf, it's probably you not. You don't even have to do anything. You could just no. I'm done. It's probably not gonna be good for a quilt. No. If you're wearing it as a scarf, if it's thin enough like that. It's a little too soft. Okay, <laughs> got and then two we got more this left. One. Wow, Oof. I don't I don't really know what to it's like the fighting that. huskies, like, you know, black and gold, the colors from high school. It's this is really, yeah. really gold. I just, you're just my model on this. This is like a cape. This is like a superhero cape. It is. It's my Wonder Woman cape. It's it's way too stretchy. Another reason you don't want to mix these fabrics is this has got a polyester in it and this metallic stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You try to iron this, it's going to be really sorry. Is it going to melt or it's just going to melt? Ooh, it's okay. going to melt. It's going to be well, very and sad. From the other quilty episodes, I know that like ironing is so important, like that pressing. Huge. And so that broadcloth, that tough broad can like take that ironing. Exactly. But this is just going to wilt and be she destroyed. Learns. She learns so quickly. And the last one we have um, is a, it's a polar fleece. Yeah. Great on a cold night when you're camping, not going to be great uh, for making a quilt. Now right. you can use this, you can use all of these fabrics when you want to make things with your sewing machine. Mm -hmm. But when you're making a patchwork quilt, this is the point. Now this is great for a project. Sure, sure. But a different project. When you're making a patchwork quilt, you want to use cotton broadcloth. And with fabrics like these, they're going to be the best thing for you. I really recommend you use cotton broadcloth when you're doing a patchwork quilt. You will be happy, happy, happy. What it's do you think? Beautiful. Did I you love learn? it. Yeah, I want to go shopping for fabric now. We can do that. Well, with you by my side because it's still, I mean, it's it's amazing, but it's a little overwhelming. So I can watch this again and kind of like remind myself. And then if I go any to any shopping uh, center where they sell fabric, mm -hmm. if I just say cotton broadcloth, or like a s section maybe this yep. is like quilting in a big box store they're going to point you to the quilt I'll know aisle exactly what to do in a and quilting, that, mm -hmm. that takes away the fear a little bit I, but all you have to do is ask and watch uh, shows like this uh, yeah. where we take you through from the beginning so if you want more information on cotton broadcloth where to shop for things patterns and the next step once you pick your fabric go to qnntv.com slash quilty and you can email us too at quilty at qnntv.com thanks so much Rebecca you were great thanks Mary bye bye